Very odd thing, spirals. Talking of which, how do you draw a spiral? Very easy if you have a pair of compasses. What you do is to draw a line and find a point on the line anywhere, close the compasses up, put the compass point on the mark on the line and swing a semicircle round like that. Then you open the compasses so that the point of the compasses is on one end of that semicircle, the point of the pen is on the other, swing another arc and lo and behold, there's your spiral developing. And you can keep it going in the same sort of way, opening up all the time to develop that semicircle. The trouble is that's only one kind of spiral. It's the same all the time, or very close to it. There's another way, and in many ways a simpler way, of drawing a spiral using a, uh, a tin lid, or any sort of lid, as long as it's got a wall. What do I mean by that? Well, here we are. Here's a tin lid, and it's got this wall up here. It's got a flat section where I can wind some thread around. And turning it around here, you can see there's a hole punched in the wall there. The thread's tied onto that hole, and it's wound all the way around like that. In fact, it's wound, and by unwinding it, it's going to make a spiral. It's a bit like tying a goat to a post. If you uh, do that, the goat, being a silly creature, is almost inevitably going to wind itself up around the post, and while it does it, it'll be describing a spiral path. Well, our post is the tin, and to make sure it stays in the same place, I've made some holes in it, and I'm pinning it down to the board, and the thread is a bit like the chain on the goat, and here's the goat, which is the pencil. And at the end of that thread, I've made a little loop. So if I stick the pen or the pencil point through the loop, make sure it's tightly wound around the tin. Here we go. The pen goes into the loop there. Pull the thread tight and then unwind it, which is the goat walking away from the post. You notice he makes a very good spiral path. Trouble is, that's a pretty big one. It runs off the page in no time at all. And that's because that tin lid is quite wide. That distance from there to there, or the next line in, is determined by the size of that tin lid. So if we get rid of that one and go to a smaller lid, you'll find that you get a tighter circle. I won't do it again. You've seen it happen. There's the thread, there's the lid, and because the lid is narrow across there, the spiral is quite a tight one. Find your own tin lid, and you'll be able to make your own spiral.